So pretty much, uh, long story short, I'm here with the girls this week. Because this game is actually getting played at half 11 on a Sunday morning, I had to come over anyway, so I thought I'd do an overnight stay vlog. This time's with a twist though. I'm going to stay in the worst and the best hotel in Coventry. I'm going to have a look at some TripAdvisor reviews first, just so you can get adjusted to what you can expect in my hotel room tonight. One star, do not stay at this hotel. Worst experience of my life. Full of homeless people, druggies, prostitutes and pimps. Good morning guys, here is some life advice for you. If you go to a hotel with 706 one star reviews, chances are it's going to be shite. Uh, I didn't enjoy my experience at all. The time is currently 9 in the morning before I even think about getting on any trains to go down to London. I'm heading to the barbers first. I'm not happy with this hair. I'm going down to London for five days. I had to look my best. So I'm going to head to area 10 today to meet my mate Cal. So pretty much um, this is my regular barber now. So I actually text him on the Saturday night. I was saying, listen, Cal, I'm going to need my hair cut before the Tuesday. Now, he's actually went out his way today to open the barbers up just for me. So it doesn't actually open to 10, but he's opened it an hour early just to cut my hair. What an absolute legend he is, by the way. So I thought I'd promote him in this video. But yeah, I need my skin fair, it's that simple. I need to look my best down in London if I'm gonna stand any chance. So let's get across now and let's get my hair cut. So guys, I've just arrived at my destination now. I've been to the barbers before. Let me know what you think of the skin fair down below. Uh, cheers to Cal again for sorting out. I need somebody to cut my hair before I came down for the week. But yeah, this is my hotel for the night. This yacht hotel is actually worth 140 million pounds. If you wanna buy that yacht now, 140 million pounds up front, that is equivalent to I think it's around 45% of what Amanda Stavely and the PAF played for Newcastle United. So it's not cheap at all, but that is my destination for the night. You've seen in the intro, the Coventry Hotel last week was bad, really, really bad. So I thought I'd treat myself for the West Ham game and for the Brentford match. I haven't booked the hotel yet, but chances are for the Brentford game. For you people that like say me in a lot of pain and misery, we'll do something for you then. Bye, this is my stay for the night. This is the UK's only super yacht hotel. I remember staying on, I didn't physically stay on the boat, but I remember going to a, a pal who did stay on the boat down at Southampton. We're going to check what a yacht is like compared to that boat. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot better this one. But without further ado, enough mess around. Let's show you to my room Please just over the there. Right, let's get this to the reception. Wow. It's time to show you around the hotel rooms. As you can see, this is my balcony area for the night. You can also see the murky waters down there. I mean, that is green. How the hell is the water green? It doesn't look good at all in London. However, though, the surrounding area is gorgeous. I can't stress how nice of an area this actually is. So in the left-hand side is actually where the other hotels are. So it's almost like a strip of hotels going down. If you head further down the path as well, you head towards Canary Wharf. So the big O2 will be there as well as our main attraction. So... Once again, it's in a really good location. Let's head inside the room now. So I've been watching Tipping Point before. What an absolute banger of a TV show Tipping Point is, by the way. Hello there. Anyway, though, let's show you around the room. So down here, we've got our little couch area, our glass table there. The couch itself, you just sink into it really, really nice. Got loads of pictures on the wall, of course, of London landmarks. We've got the bed over there. Now, that's bigger than a king-size bed. I don't know what size it is, like a double king or something like that. But of course, later on, when I'm back with girls, it's just extra leg room for me, so really handy. As for some of the stuff we've got in the room, though, so let's have a look under the TV. So down here, we've got the fridge. Very handy. I will be stacking up with the cans later. And we also have the coffee stuff in there. I never, ever use it, to be honest, in a hotel mm. room, but tiny for those who want it. We've got an, another mirror here. Hello, just to show off my, myself, I guess. When you wake up in the morning, you wake up to you so yeah uh, of course for me it's a great feeling waking up but i imagine for some users you might be a bit insecure looking in this massive mill in the morning but honestly though um again it's good we'll do the bed test check shortly we'll show you what's in the wardrobes so this one we've got a couple of towels we've got the the safe as always in here we've got the gowns i do like my gowns to be fair but that's about it in terms of that as for the bathroom I mean, you just feel like you're in the tights, I like, don't you? You've got the actual ship doors. It's just, I love it. I just love it. So, yeah, uh, obviously, it feels like the tight type before it sank. As for the bathroom, though, lovely shower head. A decent amount of room in here, to be honest. I think when you first open that door, you think, oh, this is going to be quite tight, quite 
close together. But honestly, there's enough in the eye. You get what you, you pay for, really. It's a really nice room once again. But I... I'm impressed. I am impressed. Um, this is probably the most expensive hotel I've ever paid for a night, and it, it shows, to be honest. It's really good. It's that time of the overnight stay vlog again where we do the bed test check. Last week in Coventry was the worst ever bed I've slept in, and that was mainly due to how bad the mattress was. It was uneven, it was springy, it was uncomfortable. I was actually drifting in and out of sleep during the night because of how bad the mattress was over in Coventry. One word to describe it, Shite. I say it again just to put more emphasis on it. Shite. Oh, don't get me started in that bed. It wasn't very good. But yeah, I've got high expectations for this one. I'm expecting this one to be good. On the super yacht, will live up to my standards. Let's find out. That's good. That's very good. I will sleep well in that bed tonight. And I'm going to sleep even better tomorrow night after we beat West Ham. I'm confident against them. I'm a betting man. I will fancy our chances away at West Ham. So hopefully tomorrow's sleep will be even better than this one. Running past the West Ham score at number two. He looks good. He looks good. Looks fine. He looks fine. Callum Wilson's on my mind. He's Newcastle's number nine. <laughs> Look at this, baby. I'm going to take a stroll further down this path now towards Canary Wharf and see what I can find. I haven't aired today, so I need to realistically find a restaurant and just tuck into some food. But as for the yacht behind me, though, you may be able to see there's actually three different balconies on there. So the bottom one where people are currently sat at the minute was where I was staying before. So that is the bar area. I got myself a glass of coke and I sat outside there. It cost me five pounds, so I can tell it's London. But I sat down, just soaked in the... The warm weather, I mean, it, it's unbelievable down here, but they couldn't pick a better location to actually put that bar area in. So I sat down there, soaked in the sun. It's currently 15 degrees, so it, it's still not warm, I would say, but you definitely can feel the sun, which is, I guess, the most important part of the minute. But as for the other two balconies, the second one is the restaurant area, which opens at 7 p.m. And as for the very top one, the most interesting one, that's actually a room. It's the most expensive room in that hotel. I believe it costs £1,400 a night. So you get your own balcony area, you get a jacuzzi, you get a sauna, I think you get a double shower. It's just the VIP room, it's for the, the big wicks. And especially in that yacht as well, you can attract very uh, wealthy individuals to go in there. I think, for example, if the Newcastle area players ever get a chance to come down to Canary Wharf and relax, they probably will go there. Obviously, the team all the time, not expecting to be there. But I, uh, I just wanted to say uh, a few things about the balcony. Unbelievable though, I, I really have enjoyed my time on there. Definitely worth it, um, I will definitely say that. If you ever get the chance to come down, I've got a little bit of money put aside. Weddings, do all sorts and that, I can't recommend the hotel enough. It's definitely better than the Britannia one last week in Coventry. Oh, Christ. Just before I finish things off, I'm going to talk about tomorrow's match as well as some news that's came out today. Because I think this one in particular has gained quite a lot of attraction from Newcastle fans due to this being one of our ex-players and that was Mikovic because he's got an eight game ban for his conduct towards the referee a few weeks ago. Now to be fair, uh, I thought he did cross the line quite aggressive towards the officials. You can't do that. But eight matches, wow, that is a rough ban by the way. you got to remember us. Well, I'm pretty sure Luis Suarez and John Terry got six game bans for racially abusing someone. So I mean to get an eight game ban for for what, like pushing the referee? I, I think I think it's a bit harsh, to be honest. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I just think it, but games is just a bit too much. I mean, the guy's clearly made a mistake. He's already been sent off and then you're putting additional five games on his ban. It's going to completely end Fulham's season, which I, I think they weren't going to get European football anyway, but it's definitely going to derail them quite a bit. But I, don't, I just thought it was quite harsh, to be honest. That's probably my interpretation on it. But as for Newcastle, though, uh, the West Ham game tomorrow, no matter what, we should be winning the game, really. I don't think there's any excuses going at this one. I know West Ham won their last game, and to be fair, any team away from home, you should always expect to give you a good game. But with the position Newcastle's in, we've won the last three games in a row. We're in some of our best form this season. I think performance-wise, we are so good at the minute. Um, all three of the matches we've played, we've been the better team by a country mile in every single one. We're dominating teams. But I've stated in my previous video that I think Newcastle lack is finishing teams off. We've got to be able to get that second goal straight away. 
Forrest, Rose and Manu, the all late goals. We've got to be able to get that second goal early on in the game with the killer team before it's even half time or at the start of the second half. The problem being is that we're allowing teams to get back into the game. Now, to be honest, defensively was so good and the midfield was so good. But on another day of the week, they get one chance at the score and it, we kick ourselves in the foot and we drop points. We've got to be finishing teams off, I feel like, and that's one thing I want to see us do against West Ham. Brentford away the second game I expect to be a lot harder. Brentford's a good team. I know we beat them 5-1 the home game, but I'm telling you now that does not reflect their season. They are a top class team that is chasing down European football. I believe Arsenal is the only team that's beat them at home this season, so that's a very good record. We've got to be ready against them, because I'm telling you now, we don't bring an A game, they'll beat us, so it's important for us to go down there give that a good go as well get West Ham out of the way get the three points against them I will honestly take a point away at Brentford obviously I'll be looking to get the three on the day but on paper seven points out of the nine this week I think it's an amazing return so we'll see what happens but as for West Ham tomorrow I fully convince us to go down there and batter them we should be doing that Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy watching today's video. That is the experience of what it's like to stay in a super yacht that costs £145 million to buy. That is equivalent to, I mean, almost half of what Newcastle Castanet costs, so not cheap at all. But honestly, my time here, yeah, it's good, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think everyone knew it would be a good experience coming here today, but actually seeing what it's like inside a yacht, a yacht hotel. I mean, I've never thought I'd see the day, but it's definitely been worth it, I would say. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to let me know your thoughts down below. And I'll see you all tomorrow for two. The match against West Ham. How about a mags?